Here we are at our last hotel rooftop uh, for this time. This is uh, back in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City where it all started six weeks ago. Six weeks. We landed here to the day even. And um, and we're gonna look back a little now because it's been a hell of a ride, I think. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, it was a ride. Yeah. Up and down, mostly up, a little bit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, uh, yeah, gotta, gotta have a bit of obstacles every once in a while, but I will say like I did in the last video that this has been a fucking lifetime experience. Um, so when we landed here six weeks ago, uh, you hadn't been to Vietnam before? No. No. What was your first impression? So we landed around 5 p.m. and it was rush hour, so there was, I don't know. Yeah. Katie Malur, not 9 million bicycles, but 9 million scooters yeah. around and yeah. honking. So mm. it felt really crazy, but already at the beginning, when we were searching this Airbnb, which was kind of in the back uh, of the street, people were so friendly and they're helping us mm. out, even though they don't speak a word of English. They're yeah. like, yeah, mm. just pointing you to the right direction. And that was a feeling I could carry on like the whole trip. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're, you're going to hear people talking, people who've been traveling Southeast Asia, you're going to hear people talking about uh, the Southeast Asian hospitality and friendliness and uh, like after having been here, I heard a lot about it. I had high expectations, but, but these guys go above and beyond. I mean, people are talking about that for many a good reason. People here are the best and even though some, some are a bit annoyed, like they wanna they also have to live and get money so at yeah. some point which especially if it's very touristy you get special offers and a lot of mm. uh, special offer <laughs> recommendation to take their uh, car or one not um, uh, tuk -tuk. to tuk 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 right mm. okay. but that was especially in Cambodia I think yeah. that um, yes which which coincided a bit with the English level. Uh, I would think that true, right? Yeah, I've thought of this before, but yeah. Mm, people in Cambodia are maybe a bit better at English, but uh, yeah. They use us for their purpose. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So so um, so so I would say people in Cambodia were overall a bit more annoying, but you can't stay mad at these guys. I mean, fucking the Asians are the best. I mean. God damn it, I, I, I love it here and, and it's been, and the people have been a big part of that. So, so that was a big impression uh, for me as well. Um, and um, again, you've been here before, you've been in Thailand and Malaysia before. Yes. Yeah. How, is, how are the other countries different? Because we've been now in Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and, uh, and Malaysia and now back in Vietnam. Well, I mean, to be fair, it was more a holiday resort thing, so I didn't get a real culture. Uh, it was very, like, Western um, at these kind of holiday resorts, so I couldn't, I can't really compare. So, I mean, we've been to Bangkok, and I felt Bangkok was pretty much the same as, for instance, now, Ho Chi Minh Saigon, of course, bigger, <laughs> Yeah. but kind of relatable. I don't know, which is bigger of the two? Bangkok. Really? We will look it up and let you know. We're going to look it up. That, that's going in the article. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I would say Bangkok. Yeah. What about the nature? Oh, I love the nature. Right. It's so lush and, mm. of course, I mean, it's humid. It is, sometimes it rains also. I mean, Hanoi, it was really pouring down. But, yeah. There's a lot of nature. I don't think you get Southeast Asia without any rain, but uh, but yeah, again, like with the English skills and the level of, of, uh, of peddling street vendors, you, you, you got a quid pro quo shit, right? So so uh, with all the, the humidity and heat, you also get like the, the actual tropical green nature. There's, it's, it's lush, it, it's bountiful. It's abundant, it's all over the place. I mean, 
you see like parks and uh, and and big trees and plants like all over the place um, and I can't help but compare this to certain like certain Middle Eastern or North African countries that I've visited and uh, and oh my god this is just so much better like the, it's it's the, the it's probably it's probably just as warm here as it is in Jordan for example but oh my god how I prefer it here um, and nature has a lot to do with that. The nature is beautiful, and and it just makes me feel alive. It makes me feel feel more alive uh, traveling in a place like this to have that much life around me, um, not just in terms of city life, but in terms of uh, of the the flora um, as well. But speaking of this, not that many bugs and spiders. Not that many bugs. That, that's <laughs> that's right. That's actually a thing that I was kind of kind of worried about. It's that uh, because we're going to the fucking tropical countries. So so what about bugs and spiders? But we actually only we saw a couple one. of we saw one big Pizza. yeah yeah we saw one big spider. But it was actually not that bad. It was out in the the uh, jungle area in. That was Laos, right? That was, yes. Uh, yeah. It was the waterfall area. It was the waterfall area in Luang Prabang, and we actually we saw this big ass spider, but it was only it was sitting in his web and uh, not even moving, and it actually had some some quite nice colors to it. But first and foremost, it didn't have those freaky hairy legs that <laughs> ugh, that, that ugh, just, those things should be fucking eradicated. But that one, he was cool. He gets to live. Okay, so um, so bugs and spiders not that bad. No. That's right. That's right. Good point. Only geckos, but they are cute. So. Yeah, geckos are cute, and geckos are all over. And uh, you might see a couple of bats flying around uh, in the background here because it's uh, they get out around sunset, which is around now, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of cats and dogs as well, but um, but don't pet those apparently, because if you're vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, uh, some of them got rabies, and, and from what I heard about that, that's, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, what else? Uh, what's, what was your favorite place in the whole trip? Oh my god. It's hard to point one out. But yeah, Luang Prabang. As yeah. we're moving there anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. We are. Gotta stick I, to your word. That was, like, I mean, I mean, Yeah. I would, yeah, yeah, Laos overall was, was, might have been my favorite country as well, and definitely Luang Prabang, even though, like I said in our video from there, I'm a big city boy at heart, uh, Luang Prabang is one of the prettiest and most unique places I've ever seen. It's such a quiet and peaceful and pretty little community, it's, uh, it's so humble. It doesn't need to, need any houses with more than three floors, but uh, everything and anything that it would lack in terms of city life, it has more than a plenty um, in nature and in serenity and in uh, hella cheap prices, by the way, <laughs> and good food. That's another thing. Yes. Yeah, the food here is. I mean, not only not only cheap, but uh, I think pretty healthy as well, right? They use a lot of raw produce, yes. um, and um, and delicious. I I haven't had any bad food. Have we had any bad food no, here? No, not right away. No. Right, 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 right. no. no? Okay. I mean, I could uh, now also have food without rice <laughs> yeah. for the next few I, weeks. But yeah, 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 yeah. Don't. Uh, Shit, and we're going home for Christmas and having fucking rice pudding and everything, but uh, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, yeah, rice, rice gets a bit too much, and uh, but 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 no, yeah. I, mean. I could eat that soup for uh, on a weekly basis <laughs> for longer periods, that's that's for sure. Their chili is damn good here, I've uh, mentioned that a couple of times. Um, so um, so if you like spicy food, that's another thing that, um, that's, that you're going to get in plenty here. What else? Da Nang was also... Da Nang, da Nang was wonderful. This yeah. Is also, I mean, also the ocean, as I love ocean, is mm. a very big part. Yeah, Da Nang has, uh, I mean, we didn't see a lot of beaches, but, uh, but the beach in, in, in Da Nang, now we saw a lot of coast. 
to one long beach. So yeah, of course. There are not a lot of people, so it was really relaxing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta go to the name. You gotta and and overall, I would say, fucking go to Southeast Asia if you haven't been here. This whole region has just kind of entered my personal top three of. Uh, of favorite places in the whole world. Um, I'd say number one would have to be still Southern California. Um, and number three would have to be the Balkans as well. I'm, I'm still a big Balkan boy, but uh, but uh, coming in at number two, it's Southeast Asia, baby. So um, with that, thanks for those of, to those of you who've been tagging along. And uh, we're going to be back from probably Germany. Um, we got Christmas coming up, of course, and uh, and I'll be honest, there's a lot of things that, uh, that I haven't gotten done because as, as long as we've been traveling here, it's all been worth it, but um, got to get home, got to have some Christmas, and uh, got to get some shit done. And um, I think for now, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating, just fucking be happy, all right? And um, with that, thanks again for tagging along, and... Um